Hi everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the More, and I have a new project for you today, and it's this cute little gift or treat ba box. Um, it kind of came about by a mishap. Um, I was trying to do another kind of box, and it kind of, I actually scored it wrong, and this is the box I came out up with, but I really like how it looks. It's really cute. It's a little unique, and it has a little step. The front measures uh, less than the back. The back is a little bit wider, but it's really a cute little box, and I really like how it turned out. So I hope you like it too. This is what I'm sharing today. So let's get started. Now today I'm going to feature a new stamp set that will be available in our new catalog. It's called Perfectly Wrapped and it's perfect for me because you know I love doing boxes and bags and it just has the perfect little sentiments and stuff for um, like a bag or a box. So this is what I'm using for this project today and it is in the new catalog and if you are a customer of mine already you will be receiving um, one of those and if you've purchased from me within the last year you'll be getting a catalog mailed to your home. They should have gone out already so if someone doesn't get one within the next couple of weeks just let me know email me and I'll get one out to you and if you're not a customer and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator so um, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and you can email me where it says contact me and I will get one out to you so let's get started now alright so for this project this is Rich Razzleberry and the other one I did was Tempting Turquoise, but this measures eight and a half by ten and a quarter. And that is all you're going to need for this project. And so let's get the store scoring tool out here. And we are going to move the darker away because that's our cutting blade and we want to score this. And so let me try to bring this in a little bit so you can see where I'm scoring. All right, so on the ten and a quarter side here, we're going to score it at three and at nine. So then we're going to turn it and we are going to score it at one half. And then we're going to score it at one and three quarters. At four and three quarters and it's six. Alright, so that is it for our scoring. This is a little bit dark so I hope you can see um, where I'm cutting and scoring. But um, the first thing we're going to do here is there's a little area right here and we're going to just cut that off. And then we're going to leave, there's a larger section here, and this is our three inch section. This is the section that you want to keep the top part right up here. So we are going to cut this area all off here. There's two sections. We're going to cut those off right here. And then we're going to cut these two smaller areas right there. Just like that. So that is all that we're cutting. We need to cut up for our little flaps here. So just cut up to that first score line. And then again, this larger section here, we're going to cut a big part here off because we want this to fold and not show. So you're going to need to cut like a big V out of it so it folds in properly. All right, so that's it. The next step is I'm going to bring up the big shot and I'm going to show you how to get the little ruffled edge on it. Okay, let's move this out of the way and I'll bring my big shot up here. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see this better. Okay, 
So I have my magnetic platform here and what I'm using is my oval framelits and I'm using the large scalloped one. So that's our oval collection. I'm going to set my piece right here and I'm lining this up and the magnetic platform actually helps hold this in place and I am just putting it right to the edge. I'm going to stick my other plate in here and I'm just putting it up to this line. I don't want it to cut down here and I'm not even going to roll it through that far. So we are going to put it through and I'm only going up to where that ends right there and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go forward again and then back one more time and we have our piece cut just like that. Alright so let's move this out again and we're ready to stamp and all of these stamps that I'm using are from the same set. So I'm going to get some Rich Razzleberry out here and I'm first going to make a little bit of a border with this little dotted border here and I can't really get over it really well so I'm just going to try to eyeball it and if I'm off a little bit forgive me because I, I can't really see over it like you can. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make it as straight as possible. I usually use these lines on my grid to to match them up and it usually works really well if I'm standing over it. I do most of my standing my <laughs> stamping standing because it just is so much easier for me and I'm getting off a lot on this so but you got the picture you want to keep it straight and you can see on this one I did it really good because I was standing up doing it so anyway um, that's just how you do it and then we're going to take our flowers and our first flower I'm just going to put right in the center here and then I'm going to put a couple on the sides and then we're just going to stagger these Okay, so now I'm going to take my little flower, and this is the center of these, and I'm actually going to stamp them on here also. Okay, so we have the box all stamped up, and I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White, and I'm going to stamp our sentiment while we have it all out. My ink and our stamps here. And I'm going to stamp these little circle first. And then I'm going to stamp the thanks. So we have that ready. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use our two inch circle punch and we're going to punch out this thanks. I'm going to take a piece of my leftover Rich Razzleberry and I always save the scraps. You can use them for a lot of things. I'm going to punch out one of these little flowers. This is on the retiring list. Some of these products are on the retiring list so you might want to check that out. Um, I'm going to really miss this. I'm going to continue to use it. It's one of my favorite little punches, this little flower. And I'm going to take my little, I'm just going to make it pop up a little bit. And I'm going to get a glue dot. And we're going to attach this to the center here. And then I'm going to get a rhinestone and we're going to put that in the center. You see why I love this little flower so much? It's so cute with the rhinestone or a pearl in the center. And it just adds a cute little accent. 
Alright, so now let's set that aside and we'll put the box together. So I'm going to just grab my bone folder and sharpen all these score marks. And with this box you want to make sure for sure to sharpen all your score marks really good. To use some of my tear and tape because you want your box to stick and stay together so make sure that you use um, some strong double-sided adhesive and I'm going to pull that backing off and then we're going to line this up And so this front piece is going to go back like I always do. So we'll put the two inside and this is why you cut that so that does not show. If it was wider it would come out. And then we're going to add, so I'm going to use some fast fuse. You can use your tear and tape or your fast fuse here. Again it's a strong adhesive. and then you're going to pinch the sides this gives it that little step down and fold that over and I'm going to grab my hole punch and I think this is our quarter inch hole punch I'm punching two holes here this part I am just eyeballing centering them in the middle and then fold that over again and mark your circles and then we're going to punch the holes on this side. This way your holes will, oh it doesn't want to punch. Me, oh there we go. I don't know what happened there. Alright, sticking for some reason. I'll have to check that. Alright, so we have our holes and they line up here. Um, on this attempting tur turquoise, I used our organza, white organza ribbon. And on the rich razzleberry, I just used our satin ribbon, which I love the way this ties. And we're going to just string this through here. And I'm going to cut enough so that I can tie my bow. And I didn't measure that. I'll put the measurement in my blog post. And then we're going to put these in here. Fold that down. See if I can tie a good bow on my camera. <laughs> I always have trouble doing it when. Let's see. This satin ribbon is so pretty. All right. It's pretty decent. I will fool with it a lot and I cut too much and I hate that because I don't like to waste the ribbon so I will measure it and give you the exact measurements so you don't have to waste any of your ribbon that drives me crazy <laughs> okay so we have our bow on there let's get some dimensionals and attach our thanks so I'm just putting two dimensionals on the back here And we're going to set it in the front. And that is it. I really love this little box. I mean, it really turned out really cute, I thought. Um, I really like that it steps down. It just gives it a unique look. So those are the, that's the project today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you need any supplies for this, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com. And I list all the supplies on my blog also. And again, I will put the ribbon measurement on there. So everyone, check out the retiring list because it's only till May 31st. 
and um, you can shop right from my blog. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next video.